You're watching 8-Bit Days a Week, and I'm gonna be playing one of Capcom's uh, lesser-known titles, Trojan. And this came out on the NES as well. But it's not as popular as, you know, um, say Ghosts and Goblins or Mega Man. In fact, it looks like it's been made from the same engine as uh, Ghosts and Goblins. Both are difficult. Excuse me. Alright, let me try that again. Wasn't looking for a second there. It's always the leg that gets hit. One thing for certain, it's not as hard as Ghost and Goblins, or else I've been I would still be running in the first stage right now. And it helps that you have uh, an actual life bar. Now I don't think this was released on the PlayStation. Maybe in the PlayStation 2 under the cla uh, Capcom Classics collection. But actually I can't remember if this was included there. I do there. I just can't mash always. Okay, I have to jump over him maybe. Instead of me just mindlessly hacking away. Ah. Ah. If he really wants you dead, he'll just stay in this uh, ball form. Or, sorry, armadillo form. Oh, always the leg. Alright, I'll try it one more time. Oh, come on. <laughs> Eventually, I'm gonna get the timing. It just feels so random right now. Oh. Looks like his breath is worse than his roll attack. Alright, maybe next time. Anyway, once again, this is Trojan from Capcom, and you're watching 8-Bit Days a Week. If you like um, the challenge from old games, this is definitely for you. It's not as tough as, say, Ghosts and Goblins, but um, you'll feel at home, I guess. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.